Oh, ho, ho. many of you know Uzo Aduba as Crazy Eyes from Orange is the New Black. But did you know before it was a hit show, Orange is the New Black was actually a memoir? Yes, now Uzo is teaming up with Netflix on a project that readers will love. I just love this. They're bringing other stories from the page to the screen. Uzo, bring it's so nice in. to Can see you. Can you guys bring Uzo in? Bring, bring Uzo in. in. Bring her in, guys. We have bring you on in. a screen. Bring her in. We're bringing you in on a screen. <laughs> we want you here, Uzo, wait, here it is, the grand entrance. Uzo. Wait a second. Yes. You know what? Uzo, that's how you make an entrance. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. How are you? By the way, so it's much. Great okay, to see you guys. Again. You go away for a little bit, and then you come back, and all of a sudden, there's all this news about you. You're recently You're married. married. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, there we are. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, wow. so very I'm sorry. He's very <laughs> handsome. <laughs> Jenna and I were just talking about making over our men. If we were going to give them a new style like Steve Harvey got, what would we do? <laughs> Did, are you thinking of any new styling to that fine gentleman of yours? You know, I, my husband doesn't need any styling. Oh. You know, if you see that wedding picture. Yeah. He, he put that look together himself on our wedding day. He's very, he, very he, handsome. He, he figured, out, figured it out, knows how to put his style together. He knows wow. it looks good, how to make it work. Do you so know what I, I think, think is... I'm going to leave that one to him. <laughs> you know what I think is super cool about you, but also sort of the times? What? That we were like in the midst of a global pandemic, so you didn't really even need to tell people you were married, and you yeah. waited till your first year <laughs> anniversary, and you're like, say, by the way. By the way. Happy last year. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was, it was it was kind of that awesome thing of being able to sort of, you know, enjoy and keep something to ourselves, yeah. especially first, you know, first year out, you know, you know what it's like to be newlywed. So um, we got to enjoy that time together, which was great, but then celebrate you know, on on the gram as well. <laughs> on the gram. Uso, you know, there are a lot of people who love you. We have one person in our own studio who loves you a lot. You know, you know, Davey, our floor director? Of course Davey, I do. You know, Davey, Davey, up in, Davey, <laughs> Davey and Uzo used to walk their dogs next and to each dog. other. Uh, she, yes. He misses Davey. you a lot from the neighborhood. So um, are, you miss, you. are you missing New York too? I love you. I love you too. I am, but you know what? I'm coming back to the city uh, for a play. Dave, you're going to see me and, my, and Fenway. Uh, we're going to be playing together quite a oh, bit to see you now. He, when he comes in, he's coming in. We can't in wait month. to see um, this play, by the way. Yeah, sounds, we want to go. We're it sounds super excited. really good. Tell us a little bit about it. Oh, it's the best. We we have there's this huge park where you can take dogs, you know, off leash, and they just have such a friendly time together playing. Um, our dogs are our dog friends um, and spend time together. So it's the best. I love oh, it. We love that. Okay, so this new show, first yeah. of all, it's all about reading, which I am obsessed with. So I think that this is awesome to get anybody that has watched a Netflix show to realize that there's more there's to a it. Book behind there's it. an yes. incredible book. What was it? like to be asked to be part of this it was amazing you know um i love to read i've always been a voracious reader and the idea you know you think when you're reading a book oh you have this idea of all these characters and then when you watch a movie i don't know about you guys but if you watch a movie or a tv show that's based on a book that you've read it's like how did that come mm -hmm. to be and the fact that they created a show all about that for all of us who love to read or have ever been curious about how stories come together. It's just the best combination because you can see, you can speak with the, we're going to talk with actors, directors, the writers themselves, the creators of the show. who are going to tell us all the different parts that came into making the, taking the book from the page to the screen. So this is cool. brilliant, brilliant. Okay, Uzo, just we're going to take a quick, quick commercial break because we have a lot more questions to ask you about your life. And we also want to play a little game with you. So stick around, guys. We'll be back with okay. Uzo right after this. Look at us. We're so happy. We're back with Emmy-winning actress Uzo Aduba. Uzo, there are so many stories we love about you. One of our favorites is you were on the verge of quitting this career path of acting. It was like a 45-minute window. You, you got the call <laughs> to be on Orange is the New Black, and it changed the trajectory of your life. I mean, have you sat with that for a while and thought, man, if it had been one day later, I would have tried something else? Absolutely. You know, it just shows you that you should just keep following your dreams. That's the lesson I got out of that. You know, um, never in my life did I expect 
to be sitting here with you fine ladies <laughs> talking about books and having gotten to do some have yeah. so many opportunities and dreams of mine come true you know it's just this realization that just to never give up keep pursuing what it is that you are striving for mm -hmm. because this was not in the story at all. You know, one of my favorites, since we're saying our favorite Uso yeah. stories, here yeah. I go. I love <laughs> that you kept one of the, your favorite books that a teacher gave you. I think from when you were like even in kindergarten or first grade. What, why, why do you keep that and what book was it? So it was my kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Interante. Hi, Mrs. Interante, if you're watching, <laughs> probably is. <laughs> We're so close. Oh. Um, it was the book Green Eggs and Ham. Oh. Um, Green Eggs and Ham. And we'd read it in school. And, you know, the story is about trying new things, things that you've never uh, done before. And I remember she came, like, the next day after we finished that reading that book, at snack time, we had for lunch green eggs and ham. Oh, I she love put her. food coloring in <laughs> And and nobody wanted to try them at first because they were <laughs> green, <laughs> yeah. green. And she kept saying, "Try them, try them." And then we took a bite they, and we tried, and it's like they taste just like green eggs and ham. <laughs> and, it's, <laughs> oh, and, I love and it just green. stayed with me to try new things. Oh, by the way, oh my, I love I that love you're that still teacher. close with your teacher. Yes. I love that. All right. Well, since this is Netflix's yes. first book club, we thought we'd play a little game. It's called First for Everything. So we're going to ask you questions, and you're going to tell us your first. Okay. okay. What was your very first job? Waiting tables at Friendly's Restaurant. Oh, oh I, I remember Friendly's. I loved Friendly's. Okay. <laughs> Who was your first kiss? Oh, Oh, <laughs> my friend Baron. Oh, Baron. He's still your friend. He's still your friend. Yeah. Yeah. Is oh. he there? It seems like you're <laughs> No, he's not. All right. First album you ever bought. First album I ever bought. The, well, I don't know the first album I ever bought, but the first CD I ever had CD. that was mine was Boys to Men. Yes. End of the Road. Two. Oh, end of the, was it End yes. of the Road? <laughs> no, it was Water Runs Dry. Oh. You know that? Okay. The blue one with the Roman numeral through. Oh, Two. cool. Okay, who is the first person <laughs> you call when you just want to laugh? My sister, Chiti. Mm. I love that. Who was your first celebrity crush? Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> Me too. I think we're the same age. How old are you? We're of all the same things. Yes. Are you? 40. In... I just turned 40 this oh, year. I'm just turned 40 in November. I know. Yes. I I'm know. like, hold on. I know. Did you read the Babysitter's Club too? <laughs> Talking about books? Of course. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Absolutely. What... Sunset Island. Right? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. What was the first thought <laughs> that popped into your head this morning? What am I going to wear for, Jonah and, for Jenna and Oda? Oh, well, we adore you. Good luck with your show, uh, and good luck with good luck with the Netflix show and your acting. And when you when when you're back in New York, and I know you're here now, come by and see us yes. in the studio. We want to see you here, okay? And we can't wait to would see Clyde's. To. We're going to come watch you on Broadway. Oh, my God. You're going to be amazing. All right. If Please, you want, yes. would love to have you. Cool. Grin. If you want to be part of Netflix's book club, uh, read Passing. Ooh. By Nella Larson. You can check it out today.com slash shop and watch the movie adaptation on Netflix it's November brilliant. 10th. And you can catch Uzo in Clyde's on Broadway right here in New York City. Previews begin November the 3rd. Okay. Thank you, Uzo. Thank you, Uzo. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.